Uh, let's start off with uh, Ryan. Uh, Ryan, welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. Hey, thanks, Michael. Glad to be here. All right, my pleasure. You are really the hot topic for anybody in the financial industry right now on the fintech side of uh, modern, modern, excuse me, modernization of currency and exchange. So let's get some background on you. You're the founder and CEO of TokenFest. What's going on with TokenFest? But let's start with you and then go into uh, what these tokens are, how they work, and then how they're going to spread throughout the world as a new wave of currency. Yeah, sure thing. So a little bit about me. I'm actually a well-known premium domain broker, of all things, and have been in the internet space for over a decade, uh, primarily doing basically the buying and selling of ultra-premium.com assets. And about a year and a half ago, I really started reading a lot about blockchain technology, distributed ledger, uh, the role of tokens as uh, cryptographic assets. And uh, before that, I was actually a, a well-known conference producer, did a number of uh, information technology events for a company called IDG World Expo uh, up in Boston. And uh, over the last year and a half, I, I sort of put the two things together. I saw that uh, tokens, and blockchain and the role of decentralization in the world was really coming to a tipping point uh, in terms of information and uh, you know people just uh, are craving to, to learn more about what this actually means and, and what it looks like on a number of different levels so uh, we saw the opportunity to basically create a high-level executive conference focused on the business of blockchain, which essentially embraces uh, the movement towards decentralization in a, really a post-capitalist society. You know, what does it mean uh, to actually create cryptographic tokens uh, and how does it create you know, positive sum games uh, for everyone involved? Well, let's take care of business first. When and where is TokenFest? Yeah, so Token Fest, the inaugural launch is going to be March 15 and 16 of 2018 in San Francisco. Uh, we actually chose a, a really nice venue. It's the Palace of Fine Arts. And so it's a little unconventional venue, but we really wanted to uh, find a place that would suit this topic and what we're trying to accomplish. And we're already currently planning the next show, so we don't have uh, dates yet, but uh, we're already busy working on that project. Okay, so I, I take it you've run, done events before. Yeah, I've done a lot of events, and uh, I really love it, you know, especially when it, you know, when the market calls for the need to bring senior-level decision makers together, uh, you know, in a face-to-face -face format. There's really, uh, you know, nothing beats that. So. Again, we saw an opportunity to do that more of a, at a higher level, you know, where business and networking can really get done, uh, you know, versus traditional university settings. Uh, we really wanted to go right to Silicon Valley, pick the best venue, uh, you know, get the best of the best speakers, and we, ha we have some exciting things coming up. Let me drive right into it. What is tokenization? How does it work, and how do you monetize it? Yeah, so tokenization is really a, a fairly new concept, and it involves uh, creating cryptographic tokens for usage in what they call P2P or peer-to-peer -peer communities. And the concept behind it is that instead of operating along centralized business models, which we have been now for, you know, 100, 100 so years, uh, centralized models are basically where you have one entity in control, acting as a gatekeeper and uh, collecting a lot of you know, many times excessive fees to be that gatekeeper and really controlling the whole process. What tokens do is they basically incentivize different P2P ecosystems to participate in the growth uh, of whatever platform or community is being built give us a, a hard example of what that means because it's not that's necessarily money it's something that can be like a coupon in exchange for value which isn't necessarily money which ends up being money am i uh, following exactly. on this yeah it's a good comparison you know 
you often you compare, um, you know, if you use an American Express uh, card and you're, you're gaining rewards points, in many ways that's the same model uh, as, as tokens. A perfect example of this, we'll just take social media, uh, a concept that everybody is familiar with now. Uh, the entire world is using Facebook. Facebook's great. Uh, everybody's on there. It's an amazing service. Uh, everybody's liking photos, sharing feeds, messaging people. But the only problem is, is that Facebook gets all the credit for all that content. Uh, they get to monetize it. They get, get to sell ads. They get to control the data and monetize all that public information. Uh, there's actually a company out there called Steemit who is reversing this model. They've actually created a social media platform uh, much like Facebook, but they basically uh, they reverse the model. They actually incent users with Steam tokens for participating in the same thing that somebody on Facebook would do, uh, curating content, liking photos, upvoting posts. Uh, they basically... I'm looking at it right now, and you've got, say, uh, the first one, Travel With Me. Uh, 260 looks like tokens. You get your or, or, no, likes, 1,252 tokens, which turns into $451.31. Is, is that the flow Amazing. on this thing? Yeah, and the, the crazy thing is, is this is happening every day now. People are actually earning full-time incomes being, doing the same activities they would on Facebook. They're doing it on Steemit. So, again, this is just one uh, – I call it a success case study that is just getting going that is pretty much validating uh, this decentralized ecosystem that is just really starting to get going now. And you can see this, uh, this is going to play out across every single industry. So pick an industry where you have lots of centralization and lots of excess fees, and they're pretty much up for decentralization token play. Yeah. So uh, we only have a minute left, so I, I have a, a thousand more questions for you, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call you afterwards, uh, and, and I'll talk to you off air, but I can see that this will work perfect for my model, the, the radio business, the my archives, and, and people will trade it for value. Absolutely. Yeah, there's actually, uh, I'm familiar with three companies right now who are experimenting with decentralized news, who are actually basically, you know, another one is voting. Mm-hmm. Uh, another one's recruiting. Another one's banking. I mean, it's just insane what's going on right now. Ryan, we got to, so, We have to go to a break. So I, I'm sorry to cut you off, but real quick, tokenfest.io to reach you. Is that right? That's correct. www.tokenfest.io. Uh, complete information there. All right, perfect. Ryan, thanks for being on the show. I want to have you back because this is definitely a topic we need to drill down into. Thanks for the opportunity. My pleasure. Ryan Colby, founder and CEO, TokenFest, LLC, TokenFest.io. We're going to take a break right now. When we come back on the other side of this break, it'll be Private Equity Spotlight segment brought to you by Tycon Partners. <laughs> 